Hello fellas, let's open some silver war chests. Today I have gathered enough to buy 20. <laughs> and we'll see what we can get if we open 20 war chests. In addition, I have opened 20 earlier, so I'm gonna show you the contents of those after this. So what do we get? We got a reassignment order, we got a hmm. Cool, we got an Olog. And he's vulnerable to beasts. Like the only thing you have to look out for when it's your own follower is is well you can't you don't have to look out for fear of pinning because they can't get pinned by their allies, but you have to look out for these, what they're damaged by. And, uh, and this as well. Uh, he's damaged by beast attacks, that's not good. Then we have fireproof immunity curse, that's awesome. And he is a commander, that's a really good class, I think, because it means that he'll get lots of troops following him, and if you're doing sieges, that's great. And then he has, oh, this is a great mighty Ologs. He will bring a band of Ologs with him. Will be really fucking strong. <coughs> really, really strong. Uh, this guy, he's pretty strong. Look at the amount of scars on him. Dang. Cool. Uh, he's damaged by the normal stuff, but he doesn't have any weaknesses. Uh, so that is great. He's not particularly strong against anything though. Oh, but he does use a cursed weapon, and he does have decoys. Uh, so yeah, I would say this guy's actually better than this uh, legendary guy on his own because he's gonna be able to survive for longer, whilst this guy is gonna help your siege more. So I guess this guy is for tough battles against one guy, and this guy is for sieges. Let's open another chest. We got one Olog and one. Ooh! He's got a uh, dire caracol. So we grant a caracol mount. And. Okay, what does this guy do? It's Olog. He's terrified of curse. Jesus, that is so bad. Like, mortal weaknesses. This is, this is not good. If, if there's any curse on the battlefield, it's gonna run away. He He's sucky, pretty much. Um, this guy. Terrified by curse. Again, he's epic cargo rider. Yeah, he has the epic cargo. What epic thing did this guy have? He has poison water. No, he's pretty crappy. Okay. Well, the first chest was better than the second one, but we have quite a few remaining. Um, it's an epic. And oh, I have seen this helmet so many times, but never on an Olog. That is cool. He's beast fodder, but it's okay. Like he's, it's bad, but not too bad. Um, but I would say the guy in the first chest, uh, who had beast fodder, was an analog, is better. Oh, he has none of these. Great, and he's an analog, so he's gonna be tough to take down. But he has his beast proof. Ooh. And rage by Grog, so if there's a Grog in the middle, they will kill the guy. And he's a curse warder as a king of defenders. Yeah, this guy's like super tanky. But he's commander as well, so he's gonna be tanky, he's gonna help his tanks. Yeah, he's great for sieges. Hmm. First time we get two shorties. Okay, reassignment. Those training orders we get from these chests are pretty crappy. Now remember, I'm only buying chests with Mirian or whatever the currency in this game is called. That's not bought with real money. Um, I haven't spent real money on anything here. Um, Beast Father, of course, has to be a vulnerability. But he a gang of elite defenders. Cool. So, basically, if you cannot take this guy out, you should. Uh, getting to run away from the defenders or take the defenders out by headshots or something, but since it's on your team, 
he's basically good for sieges, I guess. Um, and this guy is gonna get dazed immediately by this. He's gonna get, they're gonna get enraged, and then he's gonna run, like, stay dazed. So, but he's immune to quite a few things. Arrowproof is really great. So this like this uh, quivering is uh, this exhaustion. He's gonna be dazed for the majority of the fight, so it's not that good. Do we have here? Oh, another Olog. and curse weapon. Great. Uh, let's take a look at this guy first. Soft-headed. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's soft-headed. That doesn't mean a lot if it's on your team. Uh, they set the side of captains or high-ranking orcs. Uh, okay. So this guy is basically gonna get this during a fight as well. So he's pretty sucky. Um, hmm. Don't don't like that guy. It's a fear of ghouls, that doesn't matter too much because there's not not many times where there are ghouls. At least not at least not in sieges where you will be using these guys the most. Uh fanatical gang. Ooh! That is really cool. Like he has a gang of hunters and they'll start shooting really fast if he is attacked. Uh so that's great. And he looks really a feel or feral. So, uh, I guess that's quite fitting. So, hang on, have a gang of feral enraged hunters with him. Uh, hmm. Oh! The first, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Double axe! Okay. He's a soft target, he's flammable. He's really weak. Um, I guess this guy could. He could die pretty easily in a siege or in a battle, but if you pit him in against the right person, the right, right person, right orc or Olog or whatever, he or Uruk, he's gonna survive, but it's quite squishy. Because uh, flame and arrows or whatever projectiles are quite common. He's poison proof, that's great, but nah. Oh, the first legendary we got after five or six chests. Uh, three currency chests. Okay. Hm. His beast father is sometimes dazed by stealth. Uh, it doesn't matter too much these. Because uh, no one can use stealth except you uh, in this game. Uh, what? Ooh, he's thick skinned. This guy's gonna survive for a long time and he has. Ooh. I really like this guy. Epic quick shot. That means it's gonna like kill a lot of enemies for you. And his epic traits is you don't have to really uh, make make him survive because he's gonna do it on his own. So yeah, that's great. What I'm looking for in these um, training orders in the middle is really uh, to improve things. Because after this, I'm gonna do a uh, Bruce video where I will uh, power up Bruce and make him level 60. It's level 38 for me right now. Bruce is the guy you get early on who teaches you the game basically or how the nemesis system works. Uh, I accidentally opened the new chest but uh, you got to see that the middle one was an <laughs> Olog gang at least. Uh, Ratak Manbreaker. So he is soft-headed, fear of grouse. Um, mm, okay. Epic determination. What does that? Ooh. Well, as long as he gets out of harm's way, this is very good. Uh, it doesn't help much in an arena because he'll get interrupted at once and get even more damage for it. But in a siege, that's really good. So I would definitely use him in a siege. Um, not many weaknesses. Oh, I like this helmet. It's like the. Uh, Isengard helmet. Uh, ooh, his many immunities. And 
me some raise my glass, layer, triple strike. Ooh, three hit combination. That's fine. Yeah, I think this guy is grey against other um, Other works or Olux or whatever. Okay. Uh, let's look at this epic guy. Do, 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 do. Firemaster. Ooh. This is like this is these traits are what I look for in the training orders. To because uh, if they have a fire weapon and you give them, see so he has a fire weapon and fire master that g makes his damage huge. Um, so yeah, and he doesn't have many weaknesses. That guy's great. Oh, thick skin. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna give that to Bruce as well. Uh, from now on, I'm only gonna look at the epic or legendary guys. Because I think I've shown you enough. These ordinary... Ordinary people. Hunter gang details. It's about this guy. Soft-headed. Hmm. Great strength! Ooh! So these things, uh, they stun your enemies, and that paired with great strength, uh, since he's a slayer, I think this is what it's called, uh, he's gonna attack very quickly. Uh, so if he throws a bomb, goes up and attacks them, uh, he's gonna get quite a few hits and pretty much destroy a single target. So very good against single targets, that guy. Now I forgot to open. Uh, Sorry. Pressing the wrong buttons and not opening the chest. I am very competent, I promise. Just sometimes I'm really incompetent. And this is a senior assignment orders. Let's take a look at this. Luga. Rate of education. Big smoke bomb. Damn! Uh, I haven't seen that before, but that pretty much means that they're gonna be stunned longer uh, and he's gonna be able to escape but it, <laughs> it doesn't deal much damage and he doesn't have much health so it doesn't do much really uh, I can say so far I have spent I think 40 to 50 thousand Mirian on these silver war chests, and I have got um, basically two legendaries. Like, there's lots of these epic ones, but le like the purple legendary ones, uh, who have several epic traits, um, they're quite, quite rare, to be honest. Uh, poison, oh, poison master! Finally, one of these master things. Uh, this is what I'm gonna give to uh, Brewston, I guess. Uh, Grunts of Alora poison damage. Great. So I'm gonna give him a poison weapon and it's poison monster, unless I get something better. Because they, you can't have too many uh, traits on one guy. They're gonna remove each other. Uh, this guy is quite vulnerable. What's his epic trait? Great strength. Okay, we've seen that one before. Let's open a new chest. A legendary! And uh, warrior gang. And we'll look at both the, of these. Vulnerable to stealth. Okay, flies. Okay, cool. Uh, he's not damaged by ranged attacks. That's really good. I mean, explosions and executions. But not stealth, so. Okay, curse must. So this is like the curse master, but he doesn't have a uh, increased curse damage trait. So, you yes he does. Never mind. That's why he's legendary because he has two legendary traits and one cursed weapon to that. So don't use curse against him. Use anything that counters curse. Which I I actually don't know what counters curse. That's cool. Okay, that guy is really good. And he's not so weak either, as long as you don't explode things nearby him. Uh, Gang of Lead Defenders. And he's a defender as well. 
This is pretty good to bring in sieges. We have six more chests to open. And this guy has a Firemaster trait and a flame weapon. The best combination in the game, I guess. So, yeah. Oh, we didn't look at his weaknesses. Ah. Doesn't matter too much, is it? Those things they had, I mean, they don't matter too much. Weaknesses matter a lot in this game. Olo gang. Now, I really want, like, an epic follower, epic Ologs trait. Because uh, then I can give Bruce epic Ologs to follow him. That will be really good. Battle weary. Doesn't matter too much. Curse Master, Curse Weapon. Mm, again, that's great. He has Curse Bombs as well. Ooh. He's like Border Legendary. I guess. No, it didn't have too many. Two great things. Uh, that could damage him, I mean. Curse Weapon! This guy had. Beast Father, Curse Master. I get a lot of Curse Weapons. Like, think about combining great strength and a weapon of a certain type with the Master traits of that weapon. That would be terrifying damage. Ooh. Poison Water. Can't go on, just care about Rider. This is like this is the counter. So if someone has the curse master, you basically bring in a curse water, and then uh, you can pretty much counter them. I guess that works in arena, but it's hard for it to work in uh, sieges because you can't go look for everyone's traits because that's. I guess you could do that if you're fighting like someone who's way uh, out leveling you. Uh, you could fight them by getting all their all the counters for them and attacking all their weaknesses. Uh, epic trait, poison master. Ooh, poison weapon. Cool. Okay, looks cool. Curse weapon. So we only got one master here. Terrified of Morgai Mor flies. Well, I guess I'm not dropping Morgai flies on you, I guess. Uh, fire master. I I don't usually use fire or Morgai flies or anything like that during sieges. Near my own guys, at least, because I don't remember <laughs> what weaknesses they have, and they always have like some kind of these weaknesses, and I'm gonna lose my own guys to running away if I do. Ooh! I'm getting more and more of these. But now we're nearing the end, are we? Aren't we? Oh, it's the last chest. And, oh, that. Oh, log. We gotta shake this guy out. Look at those piercings. That face. Rawr! <laughs> nah, no, just kidding. But he, he looks really good. Uh, but we're gonna look at these guys' traits. If we can, come on, I'm waiting for you. There you go. Boys, wonder. Okay. So now we have looked at 20 of the chests. I opened 40 actually, but you know, I didn't want to show you everything. So I have gotten, actually, I got more legendaries than I thought. After after opening about 40 silver chests, I have got an. 8 legendaries, 42 epics, and 32 commons. And uh, quite a few of them were actually like viable guys who I can imagine, uh, well, questing for leveling up. And of course, you can't level them above 60, but I guess you're gonna be able to when the uh, uh, season pass 
thingies <laughs> come out <laughs> next year. Uh, I think you're gonna be able to cross sexy then. Uh, also, I got no. This is not from. This is from other things. No. Uh, so I only got that from that, and then I have. Where do you see that? Right in the training menu. That's where you see uh, what you got from the. No, I wasn't supposed to go in here. Supposed to go, supposed to go in not. I was in the army. My bad. Okay. Uh, so here we have Bruce the Chopper. So I got. So this is from opening 20 chests because I already used all the other. Or half of the other. Like, this is like 30 chests or something. Um, so I got. Forecast. Few gangs, logs, fire training. Uh, this increases level, and you have some. Give them a mount. Give them. Yeah, you can give them gangs. Oh, great! And you can actually. And there you have some epic traits. Uh, so. Poison master, fire water, mighty world champion, thick skinned. So I got five epic traits from like 30 chests. Um, I think that's decent payoff, but well, I guess I've been grinding for the whole game. I got to level 60, and this is all I get. Well, well. I mean, I, I think this is really awesome that you're actually able to gear up your own followers. It's not just random, but you should get a bit more of this. Because it is kind of awesome to be able to gear up your own followers. Anyways, the next video will be out about me gearing up Bruce with all that I can of this. So, stay tuned. See you in the next video. Yawn.